bless GCC in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we declare. Can I get a bigger amen? amen. Yes, amen. All right, all right. Okay, um, I'll just go right ahead. I'm sure we are wondering why preteens are in the same class and um, uh, the kids are in the same class. Please do not be alarmed. What happened is the network is bad here in Nigeria, so the second teacher cannot come online now to teach. So we are, you know, merging the classes together. We are pulling the preteens and the kids' class together. The kids are going to be joining the preteens' class. Please, preteens, you know, you just give us a little bit of room so that the kids can come in and, you know, we share the class together. Is that all right? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. We really appreciate this. Thank you. That is awesome of you. Yes. Um. All right, so like I was saying, I want everybody to mute themselves. Please, mute yourselves. We are, the class, the, 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 the Bible club has started already. Please, thank you very much. All right, so we're talking, last week uh, we did um, Psalm 23, and we recited the whole six um, verses of the psalm, and it was a beautiful psalm. And I, and I hope we all have been um, reciting our psalm 23 every day when we pray even when you're not praying you can recite it like i, I told my um the kids last the preteens last week a psalm is a song or a poem that you wrote to god and um and you are worshiping god in it is it good to worship god i just need you to nod your head is it good to worship god so david wrote that psalm to worship god so if i, I gave the preteens I, I told them to write their own psalm to God. Write their own psalm. Just write a few lines to God, worshiping God in, the, in, 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 in your psalm. I hope we did it. <laughs> All right. So, yes, today we're going to be doing something. Uh, we're going to be uh, taking another topic. Today's topic is called the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments. I'm sure some of us have, um, we've learned the Ten Commandments before, but I always say, whenever there's a topic that you've seen, that you've been taught before, and then they are bringing up the topic again, just know that God wants you to learn something. He wants to remind you of something. He wants you to learn something. So, let's just go right ahead. Alright, so, I'm going to ask a question. How many of you have rules at home? How many of you have rules at home? I mean, when I say rules, I mean um, things that you are allowed to do and things that, and so, some things you are allowed to do and some things that you are not allowed to do. Oh, almost everybody. Tiffany, are you here? Can I get a thumbs up? Awesome, awesome. Okay, okay. So, you know, rules are um, a, a couple of things that... Um, you are allowed to do or things that you are not allowed to do so do you have rules about when to eat can i see your hand if you have rules at home and mom is like don't eat with your mouth full um use your cutlery um <laughs> oh awesome yes those are some of the rules that we have well that mom gives mom and dad gives to us when, when, when we eat so <laughs> yes so so um you know how to eat like somebody said don't eat with your mouth full um and don't eat with your mouth full okay some of us also have rules at home how long you can watch tv am i right how much how much screen time you are allowed how many of us have that in our homes hello i'm not seeing any hands up how much screen time how much tv you are allowed to watch is that does somebody have any a rule like that in their house Kayode, you do <laughs> Kayode, how many hours are you allowed you're not <laughs> who 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 has such a rule in their house Toba, how many hours of screen time? <laughs> Actually, our mom said we can watch TV for only three 
hours. Three hours. Oh my, I love your mom. <laughs> I love your mom. Okay, so, okay. Um, some of us also have, in fact, I'm sure all of us have um, rules about um, how, how we should act. Mom will sometimes say, no hitting, no spitting, no yelling, no cursing. How many of us have that in our homes? How many of us? Oh, yes. That, yes. Now, I'm, now I know that you are good GCCMI children and you have beautiful GCCMI parents. Yes. Yes. Because it's not good. Those things are not good. That's why mom and dad says, okay, don't do this. Okay, don't do that. Now, how many of us like the rules? <laughs> how many of us like the rules? Let's be truthful. How many of us like the rules? <laughs> All right. Okay. So, um, I remember when I was much younger, when I was just about your age, I didn't like some of the rules that, you know, when I was much younger, I didn't like the rules at all, especially at school. Ah, they would say, okay, don't walk on the curb. Don't, don't throw um, uh, paper on the floor. Don't do this. Don't do that. I didn't used to like all those rules. But now that I'm much older, I appreciate the rules. I love the rules because the rules help to guide us. The rules help to guide us. Now, today, do, okay, do you know that God has rules too? God has rules. Now, those rules are what we call the commandments. Can we say the commandments? The commandments, yes, the commandments are God's rules. Just like mommy and daddy has rules for you in the house. When you go out, sit properly. Don't bounce on the bed. Don't chew with your mouth full. Don't sip water. Don't gulp it down. Those different rules that mom and dad gives to you, God also has his own rules. And we are going to learn about God's rules today. But before we do that, let's play a game. <laughs> Who is up for a game? All right, okay, let's play a game. Um, I call the game, I wonder. Hmm, I wonder, that's what I call the game. So I'm going to ask you a question. If you want to answer the question, I, I need to see your hands up and I'll call you to answer. Now, I'm going to ask a question that starts with, I wonder. The question starts with, I wonder. And you guys are going to use your imagination and help me to answer the question. Do we get, do we, do we get the rules of the game? I need you to nod. Okay. I will begin the, I will ask a question and I need you to use your imagination to help me answer the question. So, the, quest, the first question. In my country... In my country, Nigeria, and I'm sure in your own country where you stay, we have a lot of rules about food, um, how it has to be made before we buy it and before we eat it. There are a lot of rules that governs food, producing food. Now, I wonder what would happen if we didn't have any of those rules. I wonder what would happen if we didn't have any of those rules. Okay, um, Dara, see me. Let me have you. Unmute yourself. What would happen if we didn't have any of those rules? Uh, we might do dangerous stuff if we don't have those rules. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. Yes. Okay, that's good. Toba, can I have you? Thank you, Dara, see me. <laughs> yes, the house will probably be dirty. Oh, oh, okay, Grace, can I have you? If we didn't have, I wonder, if we didn't have rules guiding food, preparation, pre preparing food outside in the eateries and all, what will happen, Grace? Some people may steal food. Okay, some people may steal food, okay. For me, I would say, um, the food, I, do, you, do you think it will be clean? 
They might not wash the chicken before they cook it and fry it. They might just pick up chicken from the roadside and not wash it and just dip it into hot oil and fry it. And then you eat it and get a tummy ache. Do you know that that could happen if there were no rules? And I am very sure the food will not taste as sweet as it would be if they follow, follow the rules. Do you agree? Okay, next question, next question. Who loves sports? Who loves sports? <laughs> okay. We also have a lot of rules in sports and games, right? Right? Okay. I wonder what would happen. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder what would happen if our games didn't have any rules. Hmm. I wonder if our games didn't have any rules. What would happen? Peace. Oh, you got it right. Who else wants to add to that? Um, Chiebuka. Let's have you, Chiebuka. Chiebuka. Oh. Game wouldn't work. Yes, yes, yes. Jimmy, Jimmy, you want to say something? Oh my goodness. Yes. People would cheat. People would lie. People, we wouldn't know how to play. That's another thing. We wouldn't know how to play the game. If the game of football doesn't have any rules, we wouldn't know how to play the game. Everybody would just be running hell, up and down and we wouldn't know when to hit the ball, when not to hit the ball, when it's a, a um, corner kick. I don't really know how to play football and a whole lot of things like that. What about the roads? We have tons of rules on how to drive or ride our bikes. I wonder what would happen if we didn't have rules that guided us on the road, on the roads. What would happen? Shemilore. You said? Oh, oh, I can't hear you. Shemi are you still there? What did you say? Oh, they will go past the speed limit. I love that. Oh, beautiful. Zara. Zara, are you there? You might get injured. Oh, yes, you definitely you would get injured if there are no rules. Caleb. On the road, there will be so much argument on the road. Okay, so thank you so much. Your answers were all beautiful and all correct. I did not have a chance. Oh my word. We can't have anybody. Who said that? Hello, who said they didn't have. Kolade, oh, Kolade, what do you want to say? to go we will just be go we, will, we won't know how to get home oh my word you are so correct all your answers were beautiful yes we have a lot of rules to live by most of them are good and important and very very necessary if we didn't have them the world would be oh the world would be upside down if we didn't have the rules to guide us in the world now god gave us some rules to live by and like I told you earlier, these rules are called the commandments. The rules that God gave us to live by are called the commandments. The commandments. He commanded us to do them. Hmm? Commandments are rules that God has given us to follow. What did I say? Commandments are rules that God gave, has given us to follow. Hmm? It pleases God when we obey them. Did you hear that? God is happy when we obey the rules. And they are ten in number. 
They are 10 in number. Shemilore, what are you doing? <laughs> the rule, the God's commandment to us are how many? I want to see your hands. Are there five? Are there seven? How many? Ten. They are ten. Yes. And he gave us the rules so that we can be kept safe and so that we would have a good life. Now, these rules are found in the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 20, verse 1 to 17. I will, I will quickly read it. Because of our time, I will quickly read it. Exodus chapter 20, verse 1 to 17. Exodus chapter 20, verse 1 through 17. And I read. It's beautiful. Just listen to me. Huh? Just listen up. I want you to listen. Oh, listen, listen, listen. Now, God spoke this word saying, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not. Okay, just hold on. Hold on. I want to share my screen with you. I want to share my screen with you so that we can. Can you see my screen? Okay, I think I've, I've cut it off. Can I, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry about that. All right, so just follow me as I read. Verse 2 I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. That's number one. You shall, not, you shall not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me. Verse 6, but showing mercy to thousands to those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. That's number three, the third commandment. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. That's number four. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work. You, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your cattle, nor your stranger who is within your gates. For in six, day, for in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested this on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath and hallowed it. Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving, is giving you. You shall not murder. That's number six. Thou shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, nor his male servant nor his female servant, nor his ox, nor his donkey, nor anything that is your neighbor's. That's the tenth commandment. That's the tenth commandment. All right. Yes. That was a beautiful read. Now, how many commandments did I say God gave to us? Ten. 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 All right. So let's quickly see this short video, and we'll be right back. Huh? Ma, um, I'm missing the sign out of the class. You said, Auntie? Yeah. What's it saying? What did you When I came back, I said I signed out of the class. Oh, but now you are in. You are in. Oh my, sorry. Don't worry, I'll show you again. Don't worry, I'll show you again. All right, so you guys should see this. Sit back and see this. 
Can we all see this? Awesome.
lie. You shall not lie or say anything untrue about another person. 10. You shall not want what others have. Be happy with what God has given to you. The Ten Commandments became the most important laws for the Israelites. If they followed these commandments carefully, God would be happy with them. However, if they broke these laws, God would be angry with them. So, the Israelites always tried to live by these laws that God gave to them. That isn't the story. You said? Wow, wow. Welcome back, everybody. So, so I want to ask a question. How many commandments did God give to the children of Israel? Ten. Ten. Awesome. How many commandments did God give to you and I? Ten. Awesome. So, from that short um, cartoon clip we just watched, can somebody tell me what they learned? What they learned. If you remember any of the um, commandments, you can tell me. If there's any other thing you saw that, you know, caught your eye, that, you know, caught your eye, let me know. Caleb and Casey, let me have you. Is anybody answer? Any, any one of you? Okay, so let's have you. I noticed that the Ten Commandments God gave us to follow, so we must um, um so we must respect them and do as He says, or we will get punished. Oh yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Who else? Um, um, Zara, Zara. <laughs> Let me have you, Zara. Israelite. Okay, okay, awesome, awesome. Um Okay, okay, that's good. Tiwa what did you what did you what did you learn from the video? I love that. I love that. Derek. Derek, Derek. I learned that those are God's rules for us and we must obey them. Yes, yes, yes. Um, um blessing. Treasure after blessing, you come up. Blessing. Uh, we we shouldn't worship high gods. Yes, yes, yes. That's very correct. Thank you, treasure. Hello, are you there? Oh, tre tre treasure, that was lovely. Is anybody? Can you hear me? Call you want? Yeah. Ah. Yes, yes, yes. I'm here. I'm here. Treasure, are you done? Yeah, oh, I'm so sorry about that. It's the network. Yeah. Also, my love, I love what you said, uh, Treasure. If we need to obey the Ten Commandments, otherwise God would not be pleased. God would be angry. Any, any, you want to say something? Kolade, just hold on. Let other people have their yeah. turn. Any, you want to say something? Yeah.
Isaac, Inshallah, you want to say something? Who else wants to say this? Okay, peace, peace. <laughs> peace.